To start, have your contour cut job images ready to nest. Each image should already have one or more contour cut paths applied. In this example, we will create a sheet of stickers with 50 copies of each image. Without true shape nesting, you would make 50 copies of the stickers, which would nest like this. Notice how making copies this way results in a lot of media usage. This is because just making copies does not fit each copy closely together. Let's try this again, but this time using true shape nesting. To start, select the images, go to the Arrange menu, and select True Shape Nesting. In Design Central, enter the number of copies and set the desired space between them. Click the Redraw button, which will show a preview of the current True Shape Nesting settings. Notice how using True Shape Nesting has saved 50% of the media needed for the sheet. To arrange the nest horizontally for printing, simply reduce the panel height. When you are done making changes to the nesting preview, Click the green checkbox and Flexi will apply the settings. Now that the nested sheet of stickers is ready, there are several ways to send it to production, depending on the RIP software you use. If you have Flexi Production Manager, simply click the RIP and Print button on the top menu and continue your workflow with Flexi's Production Manager. If you do not use Flexi Production Manager as your RIP, no problem. To add cutter registration marks before sending to your RIP software, select the sticker sheet and go to the Effects menu and select Contour Cut Mark. In Design Central, select your cutter's registration mark type and other settings and then click Apply. Additionally, if you are cutting this on a flatbed cutter, you can add flatbed cutter marks inside the image nest. Simply go to the Effects menu, select I Cut. Enter the number of marks and click Apply. To send this to your RIP software, go to the File menu. If you have a subscription, you can select one of these buttons or you can select Export. Then select PDF as the file type and click Save.